I came in here to not to be ruled by anyone but Big Brother, you know. David is sort of being the dad and Alice is being the mum. Mm. But I, I don't think we need both of them. Like, we don't need either of them to, for the house to function sort of thing. They're gone mm. now and, you know, everything's it's, it's normal and we're, we're coping fine. Tonight on Big Brother, Ben sets his sights on Alice. And she's, she's still judging people and, and picking favourites and um, just makes me very wary of her. Strained relations between Dixie and Bianca. I'm sick of trying to be nice to her, to get my good books. And a surprise guest drops in with some fashion tips. <laughs> How are you? And in the danger zone, where you vote for your favourites and we reveal the five least popular housemates. Tonight in alphabetical order, they are Alice, the third night running. Bianca, back in trouble. David, almost at home in the zone. Dixie, in danger. And once again, Nathan, the bottom five. Who will survive? The backyard has been transformed into a cricket pitch for this week's task, where the housemates have to spend long stretches behind the stumps waiting for random catching opportunities. This is Big Brother. Housemates, good morning. And welcome back to the Dreamworld Cricket Ground, where play is about to resume on day two of the 2008 Big Brother Pick Cricket up. Test. <laughs> And what an interesting day it promises to be with the housemates struggling in the field after dropping 51 of 56 catching chances. Oh my god. That's gold. Has it got bite to it yet? But there'll be no hot day in the field for Alice, David, Renee and Rory. They're still relaxing in a Balinese resort after being flown there by Big Brother Airways. Oh, what a life. <laughs> but no such luxury for Nobby, who today notches up two weeks banished to the combi. I know we're waiting for Nobby yesterday to get ready. He's the worst thing girl I've ever seen. His moisturisers and his body washes and this and that. He took forever. He's really into his moisturisers. Oh, it's bloody ridiculous for a bloke. <sighs> Good morning. Morning. How did you sleep? All right. I could have slept a bit more. Nobby, how are you enjoying the cricket match? Uh, um, I'm enjoying it much more than the first party task we had to do, but it's very boring, like the balls don't come up enough. Can you please let me into family dinner this week? Like, you know, I'm not allowed in the house, but like, I think you should make an ex exception for me this week. Bobby, do you realise you've been living in the van now for two weeks? Yeah. How are you coping? Fine, it's pretty much, well, I mean, after two weeks you get used to it, I guess. But it's still annoying because I want to join in and start in the activities that other housemates do. I don't really care about sleeping out here, but I think it's about time that I'm allowed to be in the house. Dixie has been left on loan duty behind the stumps. but is more interested in eating than fielding. Come on, girls. Yeah. 
Go Team Australia! Oh, there he is! Yeah, you guys rock! I cut the ends off. And I cut the ends off, did you say? Why did you cut the ends off? You just say I love this Easy on appeal. Aww. You're such a thoughtful young man. I am such a thoughtful you young are, man. Actually. Vanessa? Kerry? Vanessa? Kerry, you just want a piece of me, that's all it is. I'll get, if I wanted a piece of you, I'd get a piece of you. Really? Yeah. Confident. Mm. Bianca's doing something in the kitchen. She's cooking dinner. I know I've got to go and do lunch. That's just... I'm sick of her. I don't like her. But I do talk to her. Twelve for eighty-seven. Good or bad? It's That'd be great in normal cricket, but. Oh, that would make us proud, guys. It wouldn't be catches versus drop catches, it would be... Hey, pretty girls, can you come help us clean the kids, the lounge room and the, the uh -huh. bathroom? Thanks. Hey, Dr. What? Can you come help us clean, please? I just did. I made the bed and cleaned the locker room. I'll continue, though. Coming up, combi man Nobby cracks. I'm going inside. Like, really, I'm <laughs> sick of just staying out here doing nothing. Who will win Big Brother 2008? As always, you decide. But this year, you vote for your favourite housemate. And each week, the three least popular are nominated and the housemates evict. To help save your favourite housemate, dial 1902 555 and then for David at 70, for Dixie at 62, for Nathan at 75, for Nobby at 74, or text their name to 191010. Dixie made me feel bad just before. As well as taking a turn fielding in the slips, Bianca has been busy cooking and cleaning, but she's feeling unappreciated, especially by Dixie. Cleaned all the benches, then I went straight in there and made the bed. Um, straightened up all, all the pillows and stuff, went into the locker room, and I put like three or four bags underneath the middle sections, got rid of some towels, all of that. And then I was like, oh, I should get changed. So I came out here, lied down for five seconds, and she comes out and like, um, hey, ladies, do you mind helping us with the bathroom and the bedroom? I'm like, I just did. Mm. And she's like, well, you don't have to then. Mm. I'm like, what? So I went in there and redid everything mm. and helped wash the benches and stuff down, got changed and came out here. I'm like, Pfft. No, she's a real stirrer, that's for sure. She's a cow. I hate her. I'm sick of trying to be nice to her. I had to get no good books. He said I have to wear a pillowcase on eviction night. <laughs> you have to. Well, he's not getting my stuff back. I'm going to buy one of my dresses. I'm not wearing a pillowcase. Although that little pink one's hot. It doesn't look like a pillowcase. Dixie, can you come with me to get my shoes? Why do you need me? Because you're my representative. Yeah. I'm your lawyer. I need a top. Actually, Beck, can you grab that Mars bar when you finish and put it in the fridge? The what? Mars bar on the table. There's two Mars bars. Yep. I see dead people. Are you having a good day today? Not good, but barely. better. Bridget Dixie. Hi, Big Brother. I'm in here representing Bridget once again. She is not in a good mood and she feels that it would be good if I spoke to you. And I need to exercise. Um, I have spoken with Bridget over the last few hours and she is very distressed and emotional at the moment because she is unable to exercise due to having um, lack of resources, such as her joggers, which are fitted for her 
beautiful little feet. And we were wondering if we can please have her joggers from you. No. Why? Bridget said, why? You took my stuff away, so that means I have to get fat. Bridget, it would now appear you're talking to Big Brother. Yes? Big Brother would like to confirm that you think you'll get fat because you have no shoes. Because I can't exercise without my shoes. Perhaps you could skip around on the grass. Is there anything else? Would this you like to say anything sucks. back to Big Brother? Bridget said this show is great and she can't wait for the next couple of weeks. It sucks. I want to get a She said she really likes it and she wants to stay forever. And I want to get a victory. And she wants to stay forever. Can I be in this game? What happens when um this I'm going inside. Outside's so boring. I'm sick of this. Go Nubby. No, you know what? I'm go I don't give a f anymore. Head of house, I'm going inside. Like, really, I'm sick of just staying out here doing nothing. <laughs> do you want a hug? Breathe. No, I don't want a hug. Just Get off breathe. me. Get off me. <laughs> just do it, Nubby. No, do these exercises. In and out. Go to school. <laughs> After the break, drama on Big Brother Flight 109. <laughs> to help save your favourite housemate, dial 1902 555 and then for Rebecca at 71, for Renee at 63, for Rory at 66, or text their name to 191010. For Terry at 67, for Travis at 68, for Alice at 72, or text their name to 191010. It's been a long time between chances behind the stumps, and the fielders' minds have drifted away from the game. Oh, it's just a lifestyle choice, I guess, and I wouldn't make that choice. Do you reckon it's a lifestyle cho it choice is. or you're born with it being gay? I think it's a bit of both these yeah. days. I think some boys are born yeah. like it, and then I think some are boys who are a bit insecure about themselves. They don't know which way to go. Mm. And, oh. and society sort of is so accepting of it now, they just go that way. At the end of the day, you can still decide whether to be gay or not. I don't think so, man. I think I, I think there's I think some who just gay, can't. They, there's that they just really are, but there are some who sort of you know a bit effeminate, and they don't know which way to go. I've got a mate who I am certain is gay, oh. and so a few of our mates, like a close mate, yeah. but he just he just know that he's not going to come out. But that, like, that's the thing. If everyone keeps telling him he is, no, we don't I'm, tell him he is. We just know he is straight. But like both you and I are straight, and we're quite different. Like we're both we're into. No, I'm different... saying sexuality. It's either once you cross the gate. Hey, but no, uh, Trav, mm -hmm. haven't sort of people said to you at school, "Oh, you're a bit gay. You're a bit gay." Haven't you copped that? Not really. Really, I would imagine you would have. I have been picked up by a few gay guys. But, oh, really? Um, yeah. But then everyone's like, Trav, you know the reason why he's doing that because he likes you and he thinks you're gay. And I'm well, just like, you probably because of your, your those tendencies and your voice like that. They. But I don't think it's an overly, know you are not. an overly gay voice. Like really? Like that's, it's all about stereotypes. There's plenty of yeah. gay guys with voices like us. Like yeah, deep, and, and yeah. plenty of people that are completely straight mm. that have a voice like you. Mm. Well, I've never actually met anyone with a voice like you. Like oh really? Yeah. No way, man. Like, oh, you're the one club, out of the box. Man. Trav. <laughs> you are one out of the box, Trav. I've said a couple of times in here. I don't think I've ever met anyone who is so unique. <laughs> 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 Double play! 
this oh. is Big Brother. Housemates, it's time to say farewell to Bali. Bye, Bali. Yeah. Farewell, Bali. Oh, oh. Thank you for having us. I'm emotional. Oh, this is we'll be back. Your aircraft is now hey, ready for departure. With our eye mask. Oh, these people must laugh their asses off at us. Were so. your mum and dad are full Japanese? Yeah. Born over there? I was born there too. Oh, really? Yeah, I couldn't speak a word of English when I came here. Really? Yeah, well, listen. I talked to Bridget in Japanese. Bridget, you're not going to be able to talk to me. You're not going to be able to talk to me. You're not going to be able to talk to me. No, but she has, she has to talk back. I can't. Oh, I don't and really know. No, no one understands. I'm saying. Don't you have Asian in you? No. What? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know if me how the peop the Asian people say one dollar, two dollar, forty five dollar. It's meant it's, it's not dollars. Not, not, not <laughs> it's not all Asian. <laughs> um, Japanese people go one dollar <laughs> because there's no dollar. Like some al alphabetical noises aren't in their language, so it's hard for them. In America, there's heaps of guys called Eric, like. Pretty much, I'd say 40% of the population. <laughs> really? Imagine. Yeah. And really? Did you say really? And the, and the I said really. 40%. Do you know how many no, that is? A lot. <laughs> Once again, a very quiet takeoff. <laughs> this is your Captain Big Brother speaking. I noticed. We hope you're enjoying your flight on board Big Brother Airlines as Hello. we head back to the Gold Coast. <laughs> Uh, we've got a pretty strong tailwind behind us. <laughs> we could have you disembarking a little earlier. Thank you, big brother. Thank you, Captain. I'll be, I'll be with Nobby, so... <laughs> oh, you want to see me get changed? Oh, you getting changed? Yeah, we can. I'll hang with you while he comes back. Yeah. What about you? What about me? I think I'll click with most people in you. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think so. I think so, too. I'm a fairly warm guy, Tevin. I like Trump. <laughs> yeah, fairly, fairly warm. Friendly, hey? But would there be anyone that you would like to no. get to know more? Don't want to know more about Trav? I think I know enough about you already, mate. I pretty much made my mind up about everyone from about day five in here. Has anyone shocked you after your five days? No, nothing really shocks me, Trevor. Shiny. Turbulence. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Sit oh, down. my big, big brother. Sit down, you're in trouble. Oh, I've got air sickness. Oh, my God. It's OK. We're going to be OK. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, no. Hang on. Oh, oh, we just oh, said have a light, big kid. And big brother 707. Oh. We have lights moving down. Next, Ben unloads on Alice and David. I came in here to not to be ruled by anyone but Big Brother, you know. To help save your favourite housemate, dial 1902 5555 and then for Ben at 69, for Bianca at 64, for Bridget at 61, or text their name to 191010. Belong votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, May 18. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. It's right. I was going to. I wanted to trade you for night. You would. Uh, I asked him if you, you wanted. Said you said you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't, wouldn't do have. anything. I wouldn't have. I asked him. I asked him. Would you not do anything with him? You would That's kiss him. Lie. You wouldn't even kiss him. No, I couldn't pull him. You couldn't You'd pull, pull him. him. No. Don't no, you talk yourself down? Who's to say you can't pull him? No. He could. Oh, he really honestly, do you think? Do you girls pull. think Nate? I met him on the outside world. No, do you think he's in the pool of unachievable? Just because he's a physio and. He's got more gold for him than me. Out of the guys, which one of the guys do you feel you know the least? David. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably say Dave too. He interrupts and dominates the conversation and um, I came in here to not to be ruled by anyone but Big Brother, you know. I see like David as sort of being the dad and Alice as being the mum. Mm. But I, I don't think we need both of them. Like, we don't need either of them to, for the house to function, sort of thing. Like, they're gone mm. now, and you know everything's it's, it's normal, and we're, we're coping fine. Mm. So, what do you? What position do you feel that you play within the house? I sort of feel like the smart-ass younger brother. 
Yeah. All right, come on, let's go through your numbers in the house, girls. What do you mean numbers? My numbers. Yeah. Have you, ranked, have, you ranked, have you ranked? Have you ranked? The girls have all got their ranks. Oh, uh, yeah. Beck told uh, me, and she told me her ranks. What's her ranking? I just remember because I was first. No. You were first, yeah. were you? Yeah. I haven't ranked. I can't rank because I like different I things ranked. about different people. Girls. I'd say Dave one, Rory two. Dave's a winner. <laughs> um. You just say that because we're here. No, no, no. Oh. Not at all. Um, Nobby, Nado, Ben, Sax, Travi. I'd expect Travi to be the last of most girls. I would not even think he would be interested in thinking about love, so therefore... Yeah, you wouldn't yeah, consider yeah. him. Yeah, I wouldn't consider him. That's... Yeah, but they're all extremely different looking too. Yeah, we are. Real you had Ben pretty low, Alice. I, just, I don't find him... But he's really conservative. I... She might go from all the blokey Yeah, yeah. I find him... You like tradies, you said, didn't you? Mm. Or like, you know, men's... Not that... tradies. I've never had a... I've, I've never been out with a tradie. Or... But said that, like, oh, oh, I'm you've got a friend who's a like, bricklayer. Oh, introduce me. Let's nah, go. No, no, it's not like that. You know, you never do that though, because brickies are all different kinds of shape and looks. But do you reckon there's anyone who's being fake? Uh, Alice, a bit like, um, you know, when she said goodbye to us all, then um, before she left, you know, she was hugging and kissing everyone on the cheek and like acting like she's going to miss everyone. And you know, deep down, we all know that's not the case. And at the end of the day, in the back of her mind, she's she's still judging people and. and picking favourites and um, just makes me very wary of her and um, I don't trust her that much. We're going down. This is your Captain Big Brother speaking. Passengers, we've begun our descent into the Gold Coast. <sighs> that tailwind certainly did make a difference. Mm. Please take your seats and fasten your seatbelts. We'll be arriving shortly. Now I feel so refreshed. Yeah, I do. It's good. I'm excited now. Let's get off. I wonder if, if um, this this divide which is going on at my own is going to impact on, on the group dynamic at all. Like, if it's like you know they go away for say they go away for like five days or, mm. or three days, and then this group gets a lot closer, and then the other group comes back, and then we're sort of like you know we're like we're cold <laughs> with, with the old guys. Yeah. Housemates. Welcome back to the Gold Coast, mm. where it's a cool 17 degrees. Yeah. Oh. We look forward to seeing you all again soon. Look forward to it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Look at you! 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 Went to a resort location. But we're glad to be back. No, where I did know. you go? I was so worried. Where that did we you go? Went to Bali. Did, you, did you? Yeah. I'm so sunburned. I said, you look exhausted. Oh you went to Bali? For yeah. how long? Well, like, since we've been gone. Well, then if you're in Bali, someone is over there. Coming up next, an international intruder. Bridget. But they took them away from It's me. like we share one brain. <laughs> Stay tuned for Carson Crash's Big Brother's Closet.